heading back, they might need some extra help. And this morning, Rachel Alzafon is continuing our back to school coverage. She's live at Sylvan Learning with more. Rachel? A good morning, Laura, and we're talking about what middle school students might need to know. Uh, you know, a lot of good tips to keep yourself prepared and organized as we head back into the school year. I'm joined now by Lydia Sherry this morning with the Sylvan Learning Center. So you have all of this laid out for us, and how does this all apply to helping students be prepared for the school year? Well, um, one of the things we wanted to talk about this morning was keeping a structured study space. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that, especially at the middle school level, the kids have a structured clean space to do their work every day so that means you know having your supplies readily available you can use something like I have here like a bin with markers and pencils and pens um, we have post-its and note cards extra graph paper things like that so they really don't need to get up mm -hmm. um, and kind of open the door for more distractions um, it's also really important that we you know get rid of things like the cell phone and <laughs> limit internet usage um, because you know as a Adults, we know how easy it is to get distracted by those things so we really want to create a good comfortable space for them to learn in so that they you know keep and stay in that habit for high school and you were also talking about how important it is to plan things out and color coding actually yep. so organization is so incredibly important um, we definitely recommend using a planner um, whether that's a paper planner you know kids are pretty savvy on their phones so there are electronic planners as well um, and we definitely recommend things like color coding folders for different subjects Objects. Um, you know, keeping your binders and your folders clean and organized is just as important because then you can keep track of your homework um, and you can go back to your notes and things for studying purposes later on. Lydia, thank you so much. Once again, that one of those big tips, none of these for students when they're trying to get work done and uh, probably cut out that internet as well. Coming up at 6, we're going to talk about tips for high schoolers. Live in Williamsville, Rachel Elzefon, 7 Eyewitness News. Autumn, Laura. All right, thanks, Rachel. Good tips. So easy to get by.